Hello and welcome to Bridles and Martingales. I'm going to start with the parts of the English bridle. Up top, we have the crown piece, which, which goes across the pole behind the ears. The brow band, which goes above the eyes and across the face. We have the throat latch, which goes behind the jaw. The cavison, which goes over the nose. The cheek piece, which holds the bit. The bit itself and the reins that you steer with. Moving to the western bridle, a lot's very similar. We have the crown piece, brow band. We have a concho separating the crown piece from the throat latch. We have the cheek piece, the bit, a curb strap or chain, and the reins. And we also have a Basel bridle. And now the the head stall on a Basel bridle is called the hanger. Then you have the actual Basel itself, the knot, and the makate, which is the single piece uh, rope ring. Moving on to variables on the basic bridles that we just looked at. We begin with the full bridle. Notice that uh, this particular bridle uses two bits, a ring snaffle and a shank curb bit. Um, you could also call it a, a bradoon and a waymouth. So, like we just talked about, they work together to lift the head with the snaffle and then tuck the chin and create leverage with the curb. A thicker laced rein is attached to the snaffle and a thinner plain rein is attached to the curb. Alright, and then we have a flash nose band. This is a regular cavison with an additional strap that goes down around the muzzle. A cross nose band. A drop nose band, which fastens beneath the mouthpiece of the bit to help keep the mouth closed. A Kineton nose band. Uh, the bit sits inside the metal hooks to put pressure on the nose. This is a slip ear western uh, headstall. A fixed ear a double ear, and then finally we have a lunging bridle. Uh, the lunge line attaches to the nose and may feature a place to attach a bit. All right, now we have some various types of reins. First, with the English varieties, we have laced reins, braided reins, um, and both of these sort of textured reins afford the rider a degree of, of extra contact. Plain reins, web reins, rainbow reins. Rainbow reins, of course, are made uh, with rubber hand grips and are useful for young riders to tell them what color to uh, hold on to. Uh, now looking at western varieties, we have the split reins, roping reins, makate reins, which are individual split reins similar to the ones on a basel bridle, and then finally uh, rommel reins or rommel reins if you prefer. Uh, the connected rein is held in one hand and the single piece, the rommel itself, in the other. The rommel was designed to be used to help drive cattle. Um, it is popular uh, in ranch events uh, like the ranch riding and the working cow horse. Um, you also see more uh, ornate, more decorated versions used in saddle type horses like the Arabian and saddlebred. All right, so moving on to another piece of equipment closely associated with the bridle, uh, the martingale. Uh, this is a standing martingale used in uh, jumping and other overfences events. 
the running martingale. These are rain stops. Uh, these are used with a running martingale to keep the rings from coming in contact with the bit, as seen in this picture. Next we have a bib martingale, a German martingale, and an Irish martingale. The Irish Martingale is supposed to keep your reins from going over your horse's head if he has the habit of tossing his head around a lot. Now for more western varieties, we have the tie down, which works similar to the standing Martingale uh, in keeping the horse from tossing its head. A training fork, again similar to the running Martingale, just provides an extra leverage point. And the draw reins, which can be used in English or Western. Um, the lower set of snaps will attach somewhere on the girth or on the saddle, uh, and the other set of snaps, which with the slides, will attach to the bit and again creates another leverage point uh, to try and soften uh, your horse's mouth um, and engage more collection. And there you have it, bridles and martingales.